coverage continues now on our coast with meteorologist Kristen Ketchel, who is live near Wrightsville Beach. That's right. She got across that bridge before it was too late. Good to see you have been able to do that. I think I see, yeah, right behind you, the intercoastal waterway. I, I'm going to ask a question a little off script right here. Have you seen anything in terms of those boats behind you and boat owners getting boats out of the water in a more secure location, Kristen? So, Russ, yesterday when the mandatory evacuation started, we saw trucks that were hauling boat trailers to come down to this area to try and get their boats out of the water before it was too late. Because obviously, you can see there are a lot of boats behind me. Wrightsville Beach, directly across the intercoastal waterway here. The bridge to get on the island is closed, and it will stay closed really until further notice until officials deem it is safe to reopen. The only vehicles going across the bridge right now have been police. There are police staged in front of the bridge on the Wilmington side of the beach to prevent all vehicles from going. Going across, but you can see there are still some boats in the water here. So again, directly across the intercoastal waterway is Wrightsville Beach. There is another bridge that goes over the canal and then the ocean front, not too far away from here. But it does look like a lot of people did heed those warnings and evacuate Wrightsville Beach yesterday during that mandatory evacuation. We are likely going to see again devastating impacts here along the coast. So we're going to monitor the situation here from near Wrightsville Beach. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Kristen, thanks for that. It's not going to take much for where no. Kristen's standing to be underwater too.